welcome back to vlogmas it's officially day four i'm definitely gonna lose track very quick i thought today we could switch it up a little bit and instead of doing like just a normal vlog i would do a what i eat in a day and i'm gonna go ahead and start breakfast Breakfast is served. So I make this every day, but it's so good and I will never get sick of it. So what I used is a red potato, red onion, green and red bell peppers, jalapenos, and mushrooms. And then I season it with this buttery garlic and herb seasoning, some cumin, and then just some pepper. I do not use salt because this has quite a bit of salt in it. And for my coffee, I actually made a homemade um, like sweetener, like coffee syrup yesterday, and it's in Vlogmas Day 3's video. So if you missed it, make sure you go back and watch it so you can see how I made it. It was so easy and it's so delicious and it's super sweet. So you can use a small amount. But I used that homemade vanilla sweetener and then Black Rifle Coffee. I used the Midnight Rider one and then almond milk. It's lunchtime and I'm starving, but I'm gonna have something small because it's already two o'clock. I made chicken thighs and Brussels sprouts last night. I don't know how well you can see that in here, but I'm not really feeling the Brussels sprouts, so I think I'm just gonna have the chicken. Is that allowed? I don't know. Maybe I should force myself to eat some of the vegetables. This is how I truly think every time I'm like trying to figure out food for the day. I always bully myself into eating some vegetables, which I guess is not the worst thing in the world. So on top, I have these balsamic roasted Brussels sprouts, which they actually smell really good, so I am gonna have some. And then I'll do one of the chicken thighs. In case no one has taught you this skill or this trick, take your paper towel and get it damp and lay that over your food when you microwave it. I promise it's gonna microwave so much better. Balsamic vinegar roasted Brussels sprouts. I did them in the oven just with balsamic vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then this is a chicken thigh that I do with like lemon juice, chicken broth, a bunch of different seasonings. I can't remember it all, but I can definitely link both recipes down below for you from Pinterest. And then I've been drinking on water since I finished my coffee. It's 3.45 and I'm making a snack because who would have thought my little lunch did not keep me full. I'm having oatmeal, apples and cinnamon. I always do two because who are we kidding? One is not enough. Like one is just a sad joke for like three bites of food. I make it so lazy. This thing has hot water. So I just put hot water in it and then it's done. I think Spike's ready for dinner. Are you hungry? Oh my goodness, he's so sweet. The day kind of took a turn. I started feeling not well at all. So I took a shower. I was gonna do anyways, I just did it sooner than expected. And I have no desire to cook tonight, but I need to because all I have is Brussels sprouts and I'm not eating just Brussels sprouts for dinner. Plus I have stuff I need to use up. So my plan originally was to make taco stuffed spaghetti squash, like do the whole thing. But now I'm like, oh, that's gonna take so long because the spaghetti squash has to cook for like an hour in the oven and then make all the filling and stuff. And I'm kind of not not feeling like doing all of that right now, but I'm also realizing my only other dinner option would be to make a rice and gnocchi soup. And I don't know if that really sounds that appetizing either. <laughs> Plus I also have to help Zachary make his dinner because I'm the best girlfriend in the world and he's doing HelloFresh for like the next month and a half. Not sponsored, but I like to try to have dinner ready for him when he gets home from the gym because again, best girlfriend ever. So I was gonna like cook this for him. Maybe I'll just suck it up. I'll get my spaghetti squash in the oven going and then I'll make his dinner while this is in there since it's gonna take some time anyways, I guess. That's what we'll do. I'm gonna pull out my ingredients and show you guys everything that goes in it. I guess I didn't truly think about how much food this made because I'm looking at the recipe again and I'm like, wow, 
I'm gonna have so much leftover food. This makes four servings, which duh, that's like a full spaghetti squash. But anyways, here's our ingredients. So you're gonna need a spaghetti squash, these three seasonings, chili powder, paprika, and cumin. It calls for pepper jack, but all I have is cheddar. So like whatever, I'll, I'll survive. <laughs> a can of black beans and a can of diced tomatoes, a cup of frozen corn, some fresh garlic, cilantro, a yellow onion, ground beef. It calls for half a pound, but I think I'm just gonna cook the whole pound. A red bell pepper with jalapeno. And pro tip, any like peppers or like greens, stuff like that, I will prep the day I go and buy them so that they're just ready. Um, I don't do stuff like onions and garlic beforehand because they're the best when they're cut fresh right when you use them. But stuff like this, it's so much easier to just have it ready to go, even like carrots, celery. So when you're ready to cook, it's like, done for you and half my chopping is now done. Since I'm making Zachary's dinner, I figured I could just like show it to you too because this is like a food vlog, right? So he's having this chickpea powered Mediterranean couscous with zucchini and grape tomatoes. I feel like this is gonna be a tough one. Some of these are so easy and some of them are not easy. He has green onions, zucchini, thyme, a lemon, feta cheese, smoked paprika, Israeli couscous, which I've never cooked with this before. I've probably eaten it like once. They look so weird. They look like little candy pieces and they're like hard. Some concentrated veggie broth, grape tomatoes, garlic, and then chickpeas. And in case you guys were wondering, yes, Zachary and I do eat different meals. I forget that like this is weird. Like I know that it's weird, but it's like normal to us. So like I forget that people would look at it funny. He is focused on different like body and health goals than I am. So we kind of just decided it's like easiest to just make what we want for ourselves and not try to find something that works for the both of us. It's just, just easiest for us. Um, and the reason he's doing HelloFresh is because we got like some really good deal and it's like super cheap. So anyways, that's why we eat separately. He does buy the um, four person pack, which looking at it now, we realize it's like kind of a lot because it is four servings per meal. He has like a ton of leftovers just from last night's meal, which was like this pizza thing I made for him. He only still eats one serving of it. The like counted in his macros or whatever. I just thought it would explain that. We cook differently, we have our own leftovers. Um, and the only time we really eat the same thing is if we're like not watching what we're eating as much or if we like go somewhere, you know what I mean? Like go out or go to someone's house or whatever. But for the most part, if we're home, we do all of our own like meal planning. And then I'm usually in charge of going to the store, prepping everything, and then doing a majority of the cooking, which I don't mind. A lot of people would be like, wow, you do a lot for all of that. But like, I kind of enjoy it. And I'm very much a like at home cooking, cleaning kind of woman. And I just like that environment. And like that fuels me. Like I get so much enjoyment and joy out of being like the food preparer and stuff. So anyways, I thought I would explain that. I finally got mine done and it made like so much food that I don't even know what to do with all of it. It says just put the like filling and everything just back into the like shell of the spaghetti squash, but I threw it away and that just seems unnecessary. So here's my bowl. I put the cheese on it. You're supposed to like broil it and all that. I'm just ready to eat. So as you saw, I ended up eating a second bowl of dinner because it was really good. And the second bowl was even better because I added a little bit of sour cream on top and mixed it in. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this dish and I might butcher the name. If you guys have ever heard of fideo, I think it's like a Hispanic dish. It's like a Hispanic pasta dish, but like it has like taco style toppings in it. I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, but it tasted like that and it was like really good. It's been a while since I've had a cup of tea before bed. And so I thought I would make one because I got a new mug and I'm so excited. I've yet to use it. It says coffee or die on this side and then it's black rifle on this side. Isn't it gorgeous? It's like a mule. You know, like when you make a Moscow mule, Mos Moscow mule, it's like that, but you can use it for whatever you want, obviously. So I'm gonna make tea out of it. But picking what tea I want is always so difficult because I have a million to choose from. I started with like such a small collection and now I just have so many. But my holiday ones are sugar cookie, gingerbread, and then this one in the corner is apple cinnamon, 
which I've been drinking a ton of that. So like I'm kind of burnt down on it. I don't really know what I want. Like nighttime kind of just sounds comforting or the chamomile vanilla and honey. I don't want something super sweet and these are pretty sweet naturally. I think I'm just gonna do nighttime. Even though I planned on staying up to edit. We'll see if that happens. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of water in here it's still. Zachary made pour over coffee this morning. There's enough in there for me to just boil it. <laughs> if you can't tell, we're like big coffee tea people. Don't tell Zachary. I'm gonna go in here because I really don't want him to hear me. Don't tell Zachary, but I bought him a gooseneck electric kettle to make his pour over better because the one we have now is just a regular kettle and the gooseneck is supposed to like be better and he put one on his wish list today after i'd already bought it but the one he put on his wish list is like kind of like a cheap like eh one and i ordered him like a super fancy one where you can adjust the temperature and everything and it's gonna match perfectly with our other stuff on the coffee bar i'm so excited i'm gonna show you guys how i make like a classic tea without anything fancy so i'm just gonna pour the hot water straight in there with nothing else and then i'm gonna take some honey got this adorable jar do you love it got it on amazon so i just take a big glop of it and i love it because you can just stir it right in with this like tool you don't have to get out like a spoon or anything and then i just dry it off because I don't want to stick a bunch of water back into my honey. And then once I did that, it's all dissolved in there. And I just take my tea packet and put it in there. And then I know the packet said to steep it for like five minutes or whatever, but I just leave it in there till I'm done drinking it. Love it. I think I'm one of Black Rifle's like biggest fans. <laughs> it's at least time to wind down, even if I'm not going to sleep yet. And look how cool this is. Watch this. Zachary wired it so that all of the christmas lights are on a switch on the wall so <gasps> how fancy is that it's so easy that's it for today's vlog i hope you enjoyed seeing what i ate today and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye